Hi everyone, this is Piranha Z06, not coming to you from my man cave, and it's not the middle of winter when I usually do my annual video update. And the reason I'm not in my man cave is because we moved. And so we now live in a downtown condo, and that's why it's not the middle of winter, it's actually the middle of summer. I did not have time to make a video this winter because we were in the middle of moving. So it's about six months later than I usually do, um, but I wanted to document this because uh, just to get back on schedule and uh, give you a tour of the, the new rig and the new man room. Not really a man cave. So let's get started. Room, Since we don't have kids and um, this was the kind of one of the conditions for us moving to a downtown condo was that I get the second bedroom as my, my room. So, so here is the new rig. Um, so uh, like I always do is just start off with PC stuff. The only thing I have changed hardware in my PC since my last video is I added 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, it was on sale or something like that, so I just went ahead and that got 32 because I do some flight sim stuff and the RAM really helps there even though it doesn't help as much in high racing. Um, other than that, PC stuff, nothing really new. Lots of new stuff uh, for the rig. First of all, uh, I'll pick up where I left off on the last one. I did overclock my monitors for a little bit. I only got up to about 67 or 68. Uh, I left it for a while, couldn't really see any noticeable change, um, and I started noticing a little bit of um, lighter, I don't know how to say it, the, the edges of the screen were a little weird looking, so I just, I undid it in case I was doing any damage, which they always say you can do, so I just, I, I did turn that back, so I'm not overclocking my monitors anymore. As you can see, I have a different fourth monitor mount than my DIY one that I had in the corner before. That's because I have an entirely new triple monitor stand. This is the SimLab triple monitor stand, and I absolutely love it. That was my only complaint with the Abudo, as you can hear in my other videos, is that I hated the triple monitor stand. I mean, it held three monitors, but you couldn't get them lined up. It took a lot of fidgeting and and shimming here and there, and they still just never stayed lined up. This thing is rock solid. They bolt right to the arms, nothing moves. You can put it exactly where you want to, they stay. It's not attached to the rig, so that when I'm jerking around on the steering wheel, the monitors don't move. So that was a huge, nice upgrade that I did when I moved here um, that I am very happy with. Um, I'm st still not using NVIDIA Surround, uh, just picking up where I left off um, the settings in my app and I app i and i file uh the way i do i racing now uh, so i'm still sticking with that a new addition i also have is i picked up a used oculus rift last year last fall for like 225 bucks so i figured i would give vr a shot i do love it uh, i don't race with it 100 percent of the time um, if i'm doing really really long endurance races uh, so i will use my triple monitor screens but Honestly, it's getting fewer and farther between races. Uh, I really, I've got, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't cause me to sweat. I don't uh, have heat issues. Um, I can wear it for several hours, uh, which is not a, <laughs> probably not a great thing, but I can, I got the prescription lens inserts for it. So I don't have to worry about wear glasses because um, my contacts aren't really perfect. So I don't wear contacts a lot. Um, so really like that. Uh, the other one that you may have noticed is uh, my last video I had mentioned my load cell died in my um, Thrustmaster pedals so I did get the Fan Fanatic uh, V3 inverted pedals absolutely love them you can see of course I've modded some stuff just with a foam padding just because there's several metal edges and I race in socks now a lot so I put down a big foam pad and I, uh, I don't know if you can really see it I've, I've bolstered it where it's so that's pretty much a straight incline so I've got things underneath in layers so that it's pretty flat. Also put a piece of that neoprene that I have on my mouse pad um, on the brake pedal because that was the that's the one pedal that you really need shoes for. It's hard to I mean, socks on metal aren't really good. The gas is, pedal is so smooth and the spring is not hard. That one was always fine but the brake pedal is a little rough because you're braking hard a lot. So I put that little neoprene foam just to try it out and I'm gonna leave it, I love it. So that way I can race in socks a lot more, which gives you a little more feel. Um, mounted a little fan there because it can get a little warm in this room. It's not new, I had that somewhere else, but I uh, utilized it here. Uh, you might see these little controls there as well. 
So I have added butt kickers, which you probably saw a second ago. So one on each side. So that was, it adds another level of realism. Uh, could you live without it? Absolutely. Is it a cool thing to have? Good, uh, I guess. Uh, they even work in my flight sim, which is cool. So you can feel the little rumble of the engine and the touchdowns and things like that. So they are cool. I'm not disappointed that I got them. Um, I could really see if you, I know a lot of people have four or five of these things. And so you feel the shifter and you feel the pedals more. So I've thought about invert, uh, changing them to mount in the back and in the front to see if that changes how I feel things. Uh, but I'm not sure I'm going to do that just because it's a lot of extra work. So I'm not sure I'm gonna do that. Um, you will see from the mouse pad though, the butt kickers vibrate the rig so much. I had to like cut out a place for my mouse to sit down into so it wouldn't vibrate out. <laughs> so uh, if I ever do change those around or something, I'll have to replace that mouse pad. Um, let's see, what else? Um, software wise, haven't done a lot. Uh, I don't know if I ever mentioned I do use Crew Chief. I really like that. But one thing I have started using is called iRacing Manager. And it's a it's just a, an app where you, you load programs into it so that you can start them and stop them um, all in one place. You don't have to go clicking on shortcuts and finding things. Everything's in one spot. And it even has the option like start everything at once. You can start all your software that you run during while you're racing things. So Crew Chief, the SIM hub for the butt kickers. Um, I always have to open my volume controls because I'm changing headsets around in TeamSpeak and things like that. So I always have that in there. Um, my streaming software and, and things and, that are running in the background for that. Uh, my my uh, graphics card, um, overclocking software, fan management for overclocking software. Uh, I program And you can program to say to start with iRacing. So you don't even have to start it. Um, so it's a cool thing, check it out. If you have any questions, let me know, I'll answer them. So coming upgrades are, um, this wheel is about five years old. And the other day, the force feedback didn't come on. So that scared me enough to say, okay, I probably need to get a wheel ready. Um, this thing, you know, it could go any minute. It's been a rock solid thing. I'm gonna sell it used um, and I'm not worried about uh, it, selling it at all. It is still rock solid, but I just, you know, it's getting to that five year mark, it could go. Uh, so I'm gonna get a new wheel. So I am upgrading to direct drive. I'm getting the Fanatic Podium DD2. So that's on its way. Of course, they're back ordered and things due to COVID and the popularity of iRacing over the last several months. So I'm also getting the uh, shifter and the emergency brake. I am getting a round wheel and a Formula One wheel so that I have the same things like I have now. So there's my Formula One wheel that I set there while I'm racing to change them out. So that's, that's what's coming. So when I get all of that uh, installed and configured and set up and working, I will do another video, hopefully before middle of winter, but maybe not, we'll see. I don't plan on any uh, computer upgrades. I plan on getting Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 uh, when it comes out. So depending on how that runs, um, maybe for Christmas, I'll get myself the 3080 Ti. I think that's everything. So lots of changes. Um, oh, that's one little thing for my streaming webcam about this little thing that can move it around a little better. But one thing, if you have uh, VR and you do iRacing or flight sim, I made this, this is awesome. It's a camera strap and I just modified it so that it would fit your little Oculus Rift. Because all, all of the VR stuff has some kind of heads, hand, handset with a, a strap. Because you're always fumbling for it with your VR on, because you're always having to switch back and forth between things and pin windows and things like that. So that's awesome, it's right there. I've adjusted it so it's right there just on the my, top of my stomach when I'm racing, I reach down, I can grab it. I don't have to fumble for where it is. I used to keep it over here in this cup holder thing, but still, again, you're fumbling around for it, knocking it off into the floor, and then you gotta take your headset off and find it. So. It's really convenient and it's a, you know, it's a $9 strap. So um, I would recommend doing something like that if you're having similar problems. So that's it guys. Thanks a lot. And uh, I'll look forward to giving you another update when I get my